Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to install the Atom Editor for Dart. Um, we've used the Dart Pad so far, and it's actually served us relatively well. But if we're going to go further with the language and also the tools that help us with the language, we're going to need something a little stronger. Now, officially, the official IDE or Internet, I'm, I'm sorry, um, Integrated Development Environment or um, Editor would be WebStorm. That's the officially recommended IDE or editor for the Dart language. But that's kind of heavy duty if you install that. I don't think we need something. If you're an actual developer, if you do this for a living, that's fine. But we're just learning here. We're just students um, just playing around with it, getting our feet wet. So that's kind of one of those things that may be a little bit too much for us. So Dart editor, I'm sorry, the Atom editor is a great start. Now, this is Ubuntu. This is just a fresh install. I can't remember which version this is. It doesn't really make a difference. So whatever you have, it looks probably something similar to this. This is the Unity interface. Let's just go from start to finish and install it. Okay. What happened there? Okay. So click on this icon. I think that's called the launcher. If you don't see the terminal right there, just type in T-E-R-M and then click on the terminal itself. And the only thing I did for this operating system was simply update it. And let's see, it should be all up to date. Well, a few things that we can actually update. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. After it's all completely up to date, what I'm going to do is add the Atom repository because that's one of those things that does not come fresh with Ubuntu. So that's the Atom editor. Let's update it. So notice I'm trying to just get a regular copy and paste type of situation to make it super simple to install. Pretty brainless. Because it's not super straightforward, you got to go through this and that. Okay, now next we're going to install the Dart editor. I'm sorry, the Dartium. What Dartium actually is, is it's kind of like Chromium. I'm going to download this real quick. Again, I'm using, um, I'm sorry, this is Ubuntu. I think I said that already. Um, Linux 64-bit. I'm going to download Dartium. So... Dartium is basically like Chromium, only with instead of most browsers, almost all browsers, that have Java, a JavaScript virtual machine, Dartium actually uses Dart as a virtual machine. Let's uh, I'm going to type Atom right here. And um, as Dartium, the web browser with the Dart virtual machine. Okay, let's, I'm going to do several things at once here, okay? As the Dart virtual machine, it's um, it's usually, we don't use it to just browse the web or anything like that. We're going to use it specifically just for Dart development. We're not going to use it anytime soon. That's going to be in the future. That's going to be in the web programming series, um, but we'll just install it, just download it for right now. So notice, Adam, I open it up, I click Open Installer, and then I'm going to type here something like uh, dartlang. And I'm going to search for this. The first one that shows up, install. And it's going to take a little time to do that. So while we're doing that, I could always go to... Let's, let's keep installing everything else. This thing is already installed. A, a, apt transport HTTPS. Correct. It's already the newest version. Then let's copy and paste everything else. And then keep going down the list. Here's my cheat sheet. By the way, the cheat sheet will be in the co in the comment section in the down below. Update. And then we'll apt get install dart. And we'll keep going. This will take just a few minutes. This thing is installing and it is finished. I'll go ahead and close it up. Dart is installed. Click back here on Atom. 
crash. Okay. Mm. That happens. Not sure what that was, but if you're not familiar with Ubuntu, the Unity interface, found the Dart SDK, it automatically looks for it. Here is the window, but the actual information, the drop down boxes are way at the top. I think Mac does something similar to this. I think this actually um, is a copy of the Mac way to go. Not my personal preference, but that's perfectly okay. Just personal preference. Click on packages. Under Dart Lang, right here, settings, and you scroll down. And if the Dart SD location, SDK location is not here, it should be slash user slash lib slash Dart. Okay? If, you, if it's not there already, just type that in. And that's all set up. Keep going down. We're going to set an environmental variable. There's another crash. Huh. What's going on there? I'm not exactly sure what that means, but let's keep going. I don't think that's going to affect anything right here. I'm going to click on this cabinet, the file manager, and again, go way up to the top, right there, see where I am? Click on the view, show hidden files. This file right here, .bashrc, double click on that. And what I want you to do is set the environmental variable right here and paste it right here. What basically environmental variable is, is if I go here and type in something called like pub, it's basically a particular command. It says, I don't know what you're even talking about. So by changing this, it will actually tell when I type in pub, it will look at this path and say, what does pub actually mean? And then the operating system will say, oh, I know what it means now. But unfortunately, you have to close this and reopen it back up. Remember, T-E-R-M, terminal. And then you could type pub, and it actually recognizes what you're talking about. Now, it's not the appropriate use of it, so it'll give you a little bit of a, I don't know what you're talking about. But next, what we're going to say is this right here, pub global activate stagehand. Now, we're not going to go over the usage of any of this at this point in time. Let's, in the next video, install it um, the Atom Editor on Windows, and then we'll, in the next video after that, go over usage of the Atom Editor. Okay? So I'm going to copy this, and I am going to paste it onto here. Whoops. As well save it and we're all done and that's it we're all done okay so in the next video we'll install this on windows and then the video after that let's go over using the dart editor the atom editor with the dart plugin thanks